All right, guys, welcome back to the Cubist MTG. Today is Two Player Tuesday, and we are going with cube drafting today. A uh, quick overview, what we do is we open 18 packs from our Vintage Powered Cube. They have nine cards each in them. Uh, we lay them out in a three by three grid. Um, I will be playing the uh, part of both players, but the first player picks uh, a row, a row or a column leaving six cards out there and then the other player gets to choose a row or a column which is two or three cards and then we switch and alternate between packs and then um once we get that we have a card pool and we're ready to go so uh, we're gonna start today we got pack one right here all right so we just lay them out you want to lay them all out the same way so we have dread Boar, old gideon azoria signet selesnia signet Double card there, Collective Brutality. Oh, gonna move up a little bit here. Worm Coil. Jeez. I don't know what this dark spot is right here, but no worries. Is it this? Yeah, it's that. My tripod's a little messed up today. Uh, Flip Gideon, and then we have Misty Rainforest. All right, so if we're looking at this, for me, um, I like Worm Coil Engine. I like the Signets, and I like Misty Rainforest. Uh, to keep it open, we're probably going to go with Azorius with Collective and Misty. So we're going to take those. Um, it kind of leaves us open for a couple things. The last grid draft I did, um, we didn't fare too well um, because we started picking red. And I don't think that was the right choice. Um, but as far as we're going to play against our second player, which we'll call Urza, he's going to go with this because two two white cards is pretty strong. Um, Worm Coil is really good and so is Selesnya Signet. But I don't think that with all the signets we have in there, we can afford to do, do this. Dreadboar is pretty good, um, but I don't think we need it right away. So, all right. So I picked first, so Urza will pick for the second pack. I'm really digging this uh, format, though. Um, I like the, the, the nice choices that we have because, I mean, that first pack is cool because you get to see... Right now, Urza could be in white, but it easily could change. I mean, especially with a pack like this, because now we have Flooded Strand and Mana Drain, which Mana Drain is an insanely broken card. So if you don't take Mana Drain, you're crazy. Um, so Urza definitely has to pick Urza or Flooded Strand and Mana Drain. Even if he doesn't play the Mana Drain, he still has a Flooded Strand, which makes White Weenie a little better, um, which is fine. Another option there, he might have liked Spectral Possession, but for us, um, we're still pretty open. I do like Baleful Strix a whole lot, um, so we're going to go with the blue in the middle. We're only going to take two cards this time. Uh, we're going to take Vendillion Click and Baleful Strix, just to check those out. Um, the first video I did, I made it so you had to pick three cards. I think that is a worth, worthwhile um, variant that you can do. Um, it is pretty nice to have those hard choices to make because you can't make easy ones like that Belfal Strix and Vendillion click. But um, you can play it however you want. Just make sure you're both on the same page when you start drafting. Um, another way I want to, you know, kind of check out is having like more than two players, which is cool. But um, all right, so it's my first pick here. Uh, Mystic Confluence, Mystic Snake, and Sundering Titan. We got Bizarre Baghdad, Char, Tendrils, Scroll Rack, Frost Titan, and memory jar um i like memory jar i like scroll rack a whole lot uh mystic confluence is very very good so i think for us since we already have vendillion click baleful strix and a couple of uh that kind of stuff we're gonna we're gonna take this row right here um it gives us a draw seven bizarre baghdad's nuts too and mystic confluence is a great card um as far as uh urza here um his blue's looking okay um his white is looking okay. I think he's just going to go with Sundering Titan Memory Jar. Um, I don't think the Mystic Snake is going to fit into any deck that he's drafting so far. I mean, that could always change. Frost Titan is great, and so is Char, but we haven't seen almost any red. So I think red's out there. Um, but we'll go on to pack four here and check it out. Um, but so far, I think for my my deck, I'm kind of going for like a control E deck with blue and splashing black a little bit, um, cause Baleful Strix could just take care of almost anything. Um, and then for Urza so far, he's got white, um, which he can go into, or he could, you know, very well pivot into some kind of like artifact deck with Sundering Titan and Memory Jar. 
Um, but that's the nice thing is that you can have a lot of changes. But we got Factor Fiction, Treasure Cruise, Hangerback, Hadron Archive, Catacombs, Miss Calc, Gaia's Cradle, Primeval Titan, and the Scarab God. So this is great. Um, for Urza, he's taking a look at this. He's thinking blue is pretty strong, so he's going to take this top here and get the, uh, get the draw, plus have the option for the artifact in there. And we're pretty sad about that because that Treasure Cruise is such a sick card. Um, but I think we're going to go with um, Verdict Canicums works really well if we want to splash black. Hadron Archive and Miss Calc are not horrible cards. And I haven't seen enough green to make Gaia's Cradle or Primeval Titan good enough just yet. But Scarab God's a hard drop. Um, but I think we want the Verdant Catacombs over the Scarab God first. So not bad. Not a bad pick. All right, here we go. Pack five, I believe. It's my, our pick first. Engineered Explosives. Savannah. Chrome Mox. We're just going to move over a little bit. Uh, Sol Solemn. Oh, love that card. Hissing Quagmire. Blooming Marsh. Wasteland. Gravecrawler. And Tomb. A couple interesting choices here. So the middle has all of the black and green that you could ever want in a million years. Um, and with Solemn, it makes it pretty good. But I don't think our control tech is ready to go that kind of black um and i don't think we're going with green so i think we're going with engineered explosive solemn and wasteland wasteland is a pretty strong card um it can really disrupt your opponent and solemn is just too good of a card to pass up it doesn't look very strong but if you've ever played with it i played it in standard and it is nuts and engineered explosive isn't bad either um and then for urza he's taking a look at this and i don't think he likes the grave crawler um it's all comes down to if he wants Chrome Mox. I think he's going to go Chrome Mox Savannah. Um, the other four cards I don't feel like really fall into anything. They're more of like an aggressive or a reanimator. Um, so we're going to lose those. But he's going to take Savannah and Chrome Mox. And I think that's going to work out pretty well for him. Uh, so he gets first pick this next one too. We are pack six right now. A third of the way through. Bribery. Nuts card. Awesome card. Consecrated Sphinx. It's also nuts too. Mood Vault. Edict. Maelstrom, Compulsive Research, Nutez, Room Map Excavator, and Hellkite Overlord. Um, this is basically a no-brainer. If you're not taking Bribery, Consecrated Sphinx, and Mutavault, especially when you have a Mana Drain, um, you're crazy. So we're going with that because those cards are going to be main deck for sure. Uh, harder choice for us. I mean, it's not that hard, but I think we go with the middle. Diabolic Edict is a very innocent-looking card. Um, but it's very strong and compulsive research is awesome too. So we're going to go with that. I don't really value Tezzeret, Rune Map, or Hellkite. Um, if you push me right now to cut all three of these cards, I would in a heartbeat, but we're not going to get into cutting cards just yet. Uh, here we go. We're going on to pack seven and it will be our pick first. Got to have my trusty first pick marker because I messed that up quite a bit. Uh, we got Horizon Canopy, Kozilek, Elish Norn, Genesis Wave, Disenchant, Old Garrick, Soul Ring, Caracas, and Emmercrow. Uh, this is a hard choice. This is a this is a hard choice. Um, I know that he wants the L Eshnorn. Um, it can be very good in a controlly kind of thing. Um, but Soul Ring is probably one of the best cards you can get in this cube. Um, I guess it's power 10 if you want to get that crazy with it. Now it's just up to if I want Horizon Canopy and Genesis Wave or if I want Caracas and Emmercrawl. But I think overall I think I want Emmercrawl and Soul Ring. Um, Caracas is probably not going to get played, but it could. Um, so I think we're going to go with that. We're just going to put out a couple cards here that I think we're focusing around. Emmercrawl, Soul Ring. Mystic and Baleful Strix is pretty good now. we got a pretty good artifact deck going, honestly. Um... Not terrible. And we have the Signet. Um, that's pretty good. I think for him, he's he really wants that Elish Norn. I think he's just going to go with the top here because Horizon Canopy can be good to splash green. Kozilek is great. And Elish Norn can be sweet too. So, um, yeah, not bad. But um, we'll get to first pick this next one too. Oops. All right, we have Watery Grave. Knight's Whisper, Urborg, Stirring Wildwood, Shackles, Doretti, Ancestral Recall, Lotus Petal, and Ulamog. Um, okay. 
this is an interesting pack. Um, as far as what Urza's looking at, he really wants Ancestral Recall, I think. So I think he's just going to pick the bottom. Ancestral Recall, Lotus Petal, Ulamog. Those are three very, very strong cards. Um, Ancestral is like the best draw spell ever. Uh, Lotus Petal is just free mana and a good artifact if he's going artifacts. And if you're ramping into 11 for Ulamog, um, you're pretty supported with all that kind of stuff. So not bad. We're pretty salty about that, but I think we are just going to go with this top here. Um, Urborg is great because we're splashing black. Watery Grave is glad good because it's in both of our colors. But also Knight's Whisper is a very underrated card, and it's a great draw spell. I mean, he did get Ancestral Recall, but Knight's Whisper is not that horrible in comparison. But uh, we'll take first pick on this next one and hopefully grab something extra good. All right. Needle Spires. Permish pernicious Deed. Pernicious Deed. Botanical. Sylvan Library. Carnage Tyrant. Goblin Welder, Bonfire, Ancestral Visions, and Thalia. Um, for us, we there isn't a lot here that we like. Um, if we're really leaning into this artifact thing, I guess we could go Goblin Welder. Um, but I don't know, man. This is a bad pack for us. Um I think we'll just go up and down here. A, to get Goblin Welder in case we want to play it, but B, to also pick Thalia so that he doesn't have the Thalia for his white deck. And then for him, he's probably just going to go Ancestral Bonfire um, because I don't think see him playing black or green too heavy, um, so these really don't matter to him. All right, next pack, here we go. This is the final nine here. Urza's going to pick first here for us. Spire Bluff, Catastrophe, Dread Wanderer, Monastery Mentor, which is sweet, Experimental Frenzy, Abrupt Decay, Batter Skull, Deep Analysis, and Blight Steel Colossus. We got all the big boys in this draft. Um, I think for him, he really wants Monastery Mentor. It's a good win condition, I would say, for a nice control -y deck. Um, so he's going to go Batter Skull, Monastery Mentor, Spire Bluff. He might not play the Spire Bluff, but... He does have a bonfire of the dam, so maybe he'll splash it. And then for us, I think we're, you know, with Goblin Welder, we need that Blightsteel Colossus. So we're going Deep Analysis, Blightsteel Colossus. I think that's going to be a very good combo for us. Um, I'm interested to see how that plays out because I like that. But now we're looking for a little splash of red, which isn't horrible. So we get to pick first here. That might have been a missed pick for him. I don't know. That Monastery Mentor is going to be sweet, though. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, we get to pick first here. Deceiver, Opposition, Charter Course, Great Blue Cards, Karn, Lava Claw, Scrubland, Lyra, Mana Flare, Plateau. Um, we could just pick the top. Uh, Charter Course will probably get played. I doubt Deceiver will, but we could pick it just in case we see Kiki Jiggy. Um, so I, we'll take the top. That's fine with us. Nothing too horrible. We'll probably just play Charter Course out of that because I don't think we're an opposition deck unless we can get some tokens. Um, but as far as what Urza's going to pick, I think for him, he is splashing red. Or he's not splashing. He might for... He might, he might. If he wants to just go big, he could go Mana Flare. So maybe he'll just pick the bottom here. I mean, that's probably the best three cards. He can splash red with Plateau. Mana Flare isn't horrible with Ulamog. Or Sundering Titan, for that matter. And then Lyra is just playable in white, so... That's fine. Uh, and he'll get the next first pick here. Eight, top eight here. Let's see what we got. Recruiter of the Guard, fantastic card. Dauntless Bodyguard, fantastic card. Razor Verd Thicket, not too hot for him. Figure is awesome. A Quarter Paladin is awesome. Uh, Chain Lightning, Silver Blade, and Lion's Eye Diamond. All right. This is a great pack for him. Um, I think that he loves Recruiter of the Guard, and if he's splashing red, there's no reason not to do Figure of Destiny and Chain Lightning. Um, second only to the middle, which would be great to just kind of get aggressive, but I think Recruiter of the Guard snags him a couple good cards. Um, the Flip Gideon, uh, he can have his... Um, what's the other card? Uh, Monastery Mentor. This is a no-brainer pick for him. And then for us, these all kind of suck. Uh, I don't think we're going to play it, but we could take Lion's Eye Diamond just to have Lion's Eye Diamond. Um, 
And we'll just take these three. It's not a good pack for us, but we'll take Lion's Eye Diamond just to have Lion's Eye Diamond. Because it's probably the most powerful card in that pack, but it's hard to play around. Um, but we'll get to pick first here. Plus, you know, honestly, with Lion's Eye Diamond, we can sack it with Goblin Wielder. So, uh, Welder, it's not that bad. Emmercruel, great. A Johnny, that is a horrible card. We don't want him to get that. Glenn is awesome. Path to Exile is great removal. Gilded Lotus is very good. Trop is on color for us. Brainstorm, Beast Within. This is an interesting pack. I could see us taking this. I could see us taking the bottom. Um, but I think we're just sticking with... I don't know, man. This is a tough one. I think we're going Embercold, Glenn, Trop. Trop is too good to give up. Um, we need it. Uh, we don't need it, but I think it's good. Um, with, we have Misty. So if we want to splash green, we can... Um, but Glenn is super good and so is Emmercruel, so we're taking those. We have double Emmercruel now, but, uh, I think he's taking the Path to Exile and the Johnny, um, because right now I think he's red-white, and that is fine. Uh, we just gotta be prepared to counter it. The nice thing about Grid is you get to see everything that your opponent's picking, so there are no surprises, but, um, you can kind of guess what they're gonna make. Um, Gorger, Snuff Out, Elspeth, which is good for him. Gisela, Condemn, Channel, Underground Sea, Mimic, and Phyrexian Revoker. Um, for him, I think he likes Elspeth? I don't know. Gisela and Condemn is pretty good. I think we're going to go with that. He sees how many big creatures we have, so he wants that Condemn pretty bad. So he's going to take that, and we're going to take the bottom. Um, this Underground Sea is right on color for us. The Mimic Vat... Maybe we'll get played, not horrible, but Phyrexian Revoker is super good too. So we have the duels that we need to make this uh, make this a good draft for us. So we're going to stick with that. Um, final four packs here. Let's go. The only thing I can say I don't like about these uh, card of my jigs is these little clasps here. I get why they're there, but sometimes they're a little hard to open. Um, we got Spell Pierce, Memory Lapse. Spell Sky, good good counter there. Shallow Grave, Lodestone, Braids, Gnarled, Nissa, and Telerian Academy. Woo! This is a big one for us. We need this Academy. Bad. I wish this Academy was up here so we could get a lot of good whatever, but we have to take Telerian and we're taking Braids and Spell Sky, Spell Sky with us. We're probably only going to play the Telerian, but hey, it's not bad. And then for our guy over here, um,. Nothing really goes with the stuff he's drafting, so I guess he could just go with either the the counter, um, just to have the options, which is fine. Um, but there's nothing on color. I think he's going three colored now, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but he gets pick third to last pack here. Terminus, great card. Demon Lord, Hell Rider, Lingering Souls. Porcelain Legionnaire, GTA, Cryptic Command, Blade Splicer, Mox Jet. Oh, this is tough. He does want those bottom stuff, but I think this is too good to let go. Um, Terminus is pretty good. Um, Blade Splicer is good, though, too. And so Cryptic is okay. Um, knowing what we're going with, though, I think Cryptic gets a little better. Um, the Mox Jet is good for him, but I don't think he really wants to take... I think he's going with Terminus, Lingering Souls, and Cryptic. And then we are definitely going Mox Jet, um, GTA, and Hellrider, which is fine. Uh, Mox Jet's on color for us. Um, it's just strong, but I don't think it was good enough for him to sacrifice picking something better. Um, all right, second to last pack we pick first. This pack's been interesting, and I like it. Good Lily. Steam Vents, Signet, Arcane Denial, Jace, Old Jace, Treetop, Wild Mongrel, Grim, and Chandra. Um, and for us, we want Liliana. Bad, big time. Uh, I think we'll take the top. This is pretty good for us. Um, Liliana's playable, and the Demir will work with Goblin Welder, even if it's not, you know, just used to ramp up. And then for him, he's liking... Either Jace Grim, that sounds pretty good for him. He's not mad about that. Or he could go. Does he want Jace or Chandra? I think he wants Jace. Jace is a little better than Chandra, in my opinion, for what he's kind of going over there. Um, not terrible. But final pick here. 
Let's see what we got for the last round. Polluted Delta, great card. Resto, Day of Judgment, Nissa, Marari's Wake, Marsh Flats, Sylvan, and Boro Signet. He likes the Signet, um, and Marsh Flats is playable too. Um, so I think he'll just take the bottom here. This is good for him. Uh, even though he probably likes Day of Judgment, I don't think um, he really wants the pull. Eh, I guess, I don't know. Hang on. We got to go back. Back in time here. The Boros Signet, I think, I thought was good, but I think he wants to go Day, Marsh, Polluted. I think that's just better for him. And then we're stuck with probably Sylvan, Boros, Signet. We'll just take the Signet as the artifact because nothing else is playable for us. All right, so that's the draft. Um, I guess if what we're what we're building is probably going to be Goblin Wielder, Blightsteel, because we have a lot of great artifacts, and it'll probably mix in a little bit of trying to get in um, Talarian Academy. I think those are the four cards we're building around, which is great. Um, perfect card. This is, uh, you know, this could be constructed almost. And then for him, he's morphed a little bit while he played, but I think he's sticking with blue, white, red, and he's going Mana Flare, Ancestral Recall, Mana Drain, Bribery, Dude, he's got some great blue. Um, and then Splash Red for, you know, some of the removal, some of the Ajani figure of destiny is probably, like, a good win condition for him. But I think he's going with something like that, which if you have these five cards, you have to play blue, and you're in a great spot. So, all right, guys, uh, tune in tomorrow. We will um, just go one-on-one -on -one with a, one game, one or the best of three maybe, and we'll see who wins, me or Urza. Um, but be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to jump over to Reddit, I will leave a link in the bottom. We're giving away a polluted Delta. Um, all you have to do is comment and subscribe here, and you could walk away with a nice polluted Delta for yourself. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We will catch you tomorrow.